This week is still all about the banks and the Dow components, but the banks, there's a lot of regionals reporting. So if you're interested in the regional banks, be sure to check out your favorites. I tried to cover as many as possible in these videos. Um, I found some real nice charts with some of these smaller uh, regional banks, but uh, I probably missed some. So be sure to check out your favorites, like I said. But let's jump right into it because today we're getting a couple pretty good bank charts. But it's leading off with IBM first. Uh, I don't think I've talked about them before. They had the two misses there. The chart's not the greatest, but their track record of beating is pretty good. You can see the shares are well off those lows here. Uh, you know, they're pretty consistent. If you're playing the earnings miss and beat, this is one to keep watching. But then we're gonna get into, like I said, the banks. US Bank Core, this is one of the better charts I saw out there. Obviously no misses in five years. Very, very consistent, and it's got that big bump up with all the banks running after the election. It has pulled back some, as many of the banks have, so we'll be interested to see what they say here um, and what the regional economy is doing. I think they're up in Minneapolis, so that'll be interesting to see kind of what that region is doing. Our next stock also has a beautiful track record, Abbott Labs. Uh, that big drop off you see there in 2013 that was the abv spin-off so don't be alarmed uh, but otherwise shares haven't really done much over the last couple of years this is one of the few larger cap stocks that is going nowhere but they do have the track record but the beats have not helped them uh, this is one you might want to watch though for possible buying opportunity if you're interested in this area and then we're gonna get another bank here, Huntington Bank Shares. This is a Columbus, Ohio bank, founded in 1866, I discovered. Only that one miss in 2015. Again, similar chart as all the other banks with that big move up after the election has come down off those highs, but just a great track record and another regional you wanna be watching, especially in the Rust Belt area. And then we're going to finish up with one I put up here because I know we've talked about it in the past, but this is kind of a cautionary tale of those who believe that just because a company is beat every quarter for years and years that they're going to keep doing it. So they missed two quarters ago, and I kind of brushed that off as like, oh, just one miss, but then they missed again. So two misses in a row after many years of consistent performance. Now you could say that this is just a coincidence, but these guys are in the auto retail business. They're one of the biggest auto retailers in the country. And, uh, you know, the auto sector is starting to see a slowdown in those auto sales. So this is something to watch. Maybe it was easy to beat all those years as those sales expanded, and it might not be so easy to beat now that the sales are contracting. But definitely one to watch if you want to know what's going on with the U.S. consumer and autos. So there's some hot charts this week. Uh, I'll be back every day this week with more, so be sure to tune in. And definitely also tune in for the options plays on some of these. My colleague Dave Bartosiak will be covering those over on YouTube on Zach's Live Trader. Be sure to tune in over there. That's on Zach's Live Trader. You can also find it on zax.com, but it's just easier to go over to YouTube, check out those trades, or if you're playing the beat and the miss, I'll be providing those charts here. So either way, we've got you covered all week. Be sure to tune in.